Hi, today I'm doing this easy pumpkin loaf recipe. Look how moist and delicious this looks. Remember, if you like easy recipes, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Now let's get started. So in a medium bowl, we're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one teaspoon of ground ginger. And we're gonna give our dry ingredients a good mix, and this is our list of our ingredients that we have in this bowl. And don't you worry, I have everything written out for you down below in the description box. So hit that down arrow, and I will have the ingredients and directions for this recipe written out for you. And now in a separate bowl, we're gonna add in one and a half sticks of unsalted softened butter. It comes out to three quarter cups of butter. And now we're gonna add in two cups of sugar. And I'm gonna use my handheld mixer to mix this up. And I needed a bigger bowl because I forgot that I needed to add more ingredients, so I switched out my bowl. Make sure you use a bigger bowl for this step. Now we're gonna add in our eggs. I'm adding in one egg at a time and beating it in between. Now that we've added our eggs, you wanna beat this on a medium high speed until it's nice and fluffy like this. Now we're gonna add in my secret ingredient, plain Greek yogurt. It's gonna make our pumpkin bread so moist and soft. We're gonna give it a good mix until it's nice and light and fluffy. And then we're gonna add in our can of pumpkin. And we're gonna give this a good mix. And now is a good time to add in our dry ingredients into the pumpkin mixture. So for this recipe, I'm actually using one loaf pan. I'm gonna fill half of the mixture in one loaf pan and the other half, I'm going to make some muffins with some chocolate chips on top. I've preheated my oven at 350 degrees. I've already poured half of the batter into my loaf pan that's already greased and lined with parchment paper. I'm giving it a shake so we can get a nice even loaf and tapping for any air bubbles. Now I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop to scoop some pumpkin mixture into these cups. Make sure you keep watching to the end to see the final results when I cut into our pumpkin loaf and muffins. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some chocolate chips to the top. This is gonna be so delicious. So if you don't wanna make muffins, you can definitely just make two loaves. We're gonna put it in the oven. The muffins are only 35 minutes in the oven and the loaf is gonna be 50 minutes. So let's take a look at the finished product. Look at this loaf, it looks just perfect. And I'm gonna use a toothpick to make sure that is fully cooked. If the toothpick comes out clean, it's perfect. And that looks just right. We're gonna let it cool off for about 20 minutes and then we'll cut into it. So I'm gonna cut into the pumpkin loaf so you can take a look and see how nice and moist this loaf came out. It's just absolutely perfect. Look at this. I wish you can smell my house right now. It smells like pumpkin spice. I'm just gonna break a piece open so you can see how nice and moist and soft this looks. I'm gonna cut into this muffin so you can see what it looks like inside. It came out really nice and moist. Also, I already tried one, I ate one already, so I cheated. Take a look at this. It is so delicious, so moist, so soft. You can enjoy this with a nice cup of coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you love easy, simple recipes, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below and comment below and let me know how you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.